so what's up guys so um, I just wanted to make this really quick video to essentially let you know about what's going on and everything else first of all I'm gonna have to hurry this because unfortunately I can only do videos less than 15 minutes and because of that my broadcasts that I usually do each week will probably have to come to a screeching fucking halt but then again I've kind of been thinking over the whole idea of whether broadcast should even be considered to continue anyway considering the fact that they're long they're monotonous and they take forever to edit and upload um, but my point and so I'm gonna pose that question to my audience uh, whether I should continue uh, making broadcasts um, when I am able to again uh, and do that but essentially what's going on is I have a YouTube community strike against me for BS reasons uh, to which I will uh, explain in the next video that I do um, but essentially what I wanted to just say is that things such as uh, the war on the KKK videos, the war, the Westboro Baptist Church sort of things I think I'm gonna end the run on those one because they're becoming the Westboro Baptist Church videos have become monotonous and both groups are basically just kind of they're insignificant and I need to really focus on a lot of main um, meat basically to cut through in a lot of other videos uh, number two, I think I'm going to start, because of the 15 minute limit that I have right now, I think I'm going to start scripting my videos and make that more professional and uh, trying to work on that. So because of that, uh, videos might be a little slow in production and output because I, you know, I have so many other things going on right now. School's coming back up. That's going to take my focus away. I'm working with... Uh, yes, California, and uh, I'm a member of the California National Party now, so I'm going to be working with these and um, groups and stuff like that as a side project. Um, I'm looking for work, so that may take time away from me. So my ability to actually make content might be restricted um, within the coming within the coming year, at least the coming months. Uh, at least probably for the next six months uh, while I wait this community strike BS out um, basically um, I'm just kind of reflecting back on my 2015 which was pretty good um, I can't really say I have too many complaints other than the fact that cars have kind of been in an been a bit of a, a bit of an issue um, but other than that things are pretty solid uh, it's probably been one of my better years hopefully 2016 will be my best year that I've had in a long long time because my 2014 was just was just a load of crap 2013 was a load of crap 2012 was just sad and shitty and so hopefully 2015 has definitely been it's definitely been a learning experience for me, especially as of the recent events that have been occurring over the last month or so. I think that it's definitely a sign that I need to mature a little, that I'm maturing a little bit, but need to mature a little bit, that um, I'm going to try to make this a bit more of a professional um, sort of thing, and we'll just see where that goes. As far as th that's basically my New Year's resolution right there is to basically continue making the best content that I can for my fans, for my audience, um, because I just don't don't think that hovering around and stuff like that with the videos that I currently have done, you know, should uh, I don't really think that I need to be babbling on about that any longer. So yeah, unless Westboro Baptist Church ends up with some big thing where it's like connected to like, you know, an evangelical 
grouping or whatever, unless they really make big headlines or something big that I need to talk about, I, I think I'm just going to pretty much ignore them because if I ignore them, hopefully eventually they'll go, you know, like every if everybody else too ignores them, hopefully they'll go away. Same with, you know, this stuff with the KKK. They're insignificant. And I have other, um, and basically I'm not my vendetta against, you know, this personal war that I've got going on with the KKK. It's, it, it, that's not the only thing that I want to talk about. If I'm going to talk about white supremacy, if I'm actually going to fight against white supremacist thinking and mentality and all that sort of, you know, fascist bullshit, then I'm going to need, then I need to turn away from that particular thing and actually focus on actual crap, such as the fact that Tamir Rice's killer now will actually walk free. So, things like that. And I think I'm going to actually focus more on that and combating individuals in a more um, in a better way. Um, and I think that that's another thing, is the fact that I'm trying to be more personable, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to actually, you know, engage people in debates more, so I might actually be doing Skype and Google Plus chats and stuff like that now. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping for the best out of that. Um... And, yeah, the other, other things like, you know, I need to get out and exercise and eat better. I know a lot of people say that, and it sounds cliche, but I do. Because, uh, you know, I, you know, need to take better, better care of myself. Otherwise, you guys aren't going to see me here for very long. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, I just need to, I, I need, I, I'm basically looking back in reflection 2015 was a learning experience for me. It was also an amazing year for travel for me because I got to go to Maryland. I got to pass through New York on the way to see family, and I got to see beautiful country and beautiful people and got to go to L.A. for the first time in my whole life this summer. So who knows what's gonna, what 2016 will bring for me. It probably won't be as exciting as 2015, but you know, hopefully it'll be a pretty good year. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to do the best content possible for my fans and let me know what you guys want to see out of me in 2016. Because I could always use suggestions. And, uh, like I said, tw um, because of this new restriction that I've got on my channel right now, I can't do as much. And if I have to, I will always make two-part episodes if I have to. It just means, you know, having to, you know, do a lot, have to go through a bunch of BS. But hopefully we'll see what happens, and ho and hopefully I can get all this t this crap taken care of. Um, so bear with me over the next few months, uh, and let's just try to make this the best experience possible that we can, despite some of the drawbacks that are currently being placed against me. All right. So I, I love you guys, and uh, Happy New Year, and I will see you in 2016. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner for 2015.